Data pipelines, what are they? It's a heavily loaded term today. And I'm gonna talk about actually where they started. So about 40 years ago, the pipeline started really with CPU processing at a hardware level where instructions read, write were pipelined together actually on the silicon. And these instructions could be fully automated from an end-to-end -end perspective. You could add to them, you could take away from them simply as well as flexibly. Today, they've morphed into any building block, any processing block that is moving data from end to end. And what's critical to know about today's data pipelines is how data enters the pipeline. Critical factors include real-time data, the ability to take this pipeline, automate it and orchestrate it. So automation and orchestration become critical. Now, just a very quick word on that. Automation is the ability to run any one of those blocks at the, the time and the speed in which you need to run it. Orchestration is actually taking all of these blocks and running them in coordination. And then finally, well, it's great that I built that pipeline, but don't forget the importance of the end result of that pipeline and what we call the last mile of the pipeline and how that actually affects the consumption of the output of that pipeline. So in short, we've gone from CPU instructions automated in a pipeline through real-time data flowing through that pipeline into the end user consuming that data, producing events for their business.